Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a get ready with me but instead I'm actually going to do a talk through because I haven't done a talk through in a really long time so if you prefer me doing a talk through or not talking at all let me know um, in the comment section down below. So I just started off with my brows and I'm using the MUA brow pencil which is literally like one pound, it's probably the most inexpensive brow product you can get but I'm just filling in my brows. I just like to outline them and I just like to fill them in and then I also like to clean them up with a bit of concealer and the concealer that I used was the Benefit Boy concealer. The concealer bit is optional but because I don't get my eyebrows plucked or anything like that I kind of need to clean up the edges just to make it look a bit sharper. So now that I have done my brows, I actually prefer to do my eye makeup first rather than doing my like foundation. So I'm just priming my eyes with the Kiko Eye Base Primer and then I'm taking the Urban Decay, oh no that's not the Urban Decay, it's the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette um, and I'm taking this kind of bronzy brown shade, it probably does have a name but I can't think of it at the top of my head. But I'm just applying that to the inner corner and outer corner of the eye with just a flat shader brush. And then once that's done, I'm going to take a tapered blending brush and I'm going to use that same colour and just lightly put that into the crease. And then I'm going to be taking the Sleek Vintage Romance Palette and these shades actually have no name so I'm just taking this kind of um, goldish coppery shade, I don't know, it's more on the gold side and I'm just applying that to the centre of my lid with my finger. You can also use a brush but I just preferred to use my finger. And then I'm just going to lightly blend that kind of centre shade with the outer corners and the inner corner just so that it blends seamlessly together. And then I'm going to be taking this brown colour, I'm so bad at describing, but it's from the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. And it's kind of like a brown that's darker than my skin tone and I'm just applying that to the outer corners with a blending brush. Then I took this matte black shade from the exact same palette and I'm applying that to the outer corners. This part is probably optional but I just wanted to in slightly intensify it, trying to make it a bit smoky but still keeping it neutral. And then I'm going to give everything one last blend. Um, and for this look I decided not to go for an eyeliner, I just wasn't in the mood for that today. So I ended up taking a the same double exposure palette from Smashbox which you can actually use both wet and dry the shadows and I just took a liner brush and I just lined my upper lash line and then I added some mascara and the one that I'm using is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This isn't, I don't think it's worth the money to be honest, you're better off just using a drugstore mascara but this is what I'm using for now and then I added some lashes and the ones that I use are the Ardell Demi Wispies. So now onto the face makeup, I'm using the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer to prime my face and to fill in my pores. This is an amazing primer for oily skin if you do have oily skin. It keeps me matte for most of the day. And the foundation that I'm using is the Steel Art Stay All Day Foundation in the shade Warm 13. I did actually mix this with a little bit of the L'Oreal True Match. Um, just to kind of darken up a bit because it is a bit light as I'm getting a bit darker because of obviously the sun and stuff like that but I just wanted it to be a bit more warmer so I decided to mix it with a slightly darker foundation. So once I've blended everything all the way down to my neck, I'm actually going to use a concealer. This one is from The Balm, I believe it's called Time by The Balm or something like that. Um, and then I also use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn on top of that. And I just blended that in with a um, Real Techniques buffing brush. 
And so to contour, I'm using the Lancome Tint E Doll Ultra 24 Hour Makeup in the darker shade they have. This is probably my favourite product to use to contour. So I'm contouring my cheekbones as well as um, my temples and also just a bit under my chin. And then I'm just blending that with a Real Techniques contour brush. And so to set my face, I'm just using the Sleek Pressed Powder. I actually forgot to show you guys that I did set my under eye concealer. I just used the NYX Set It Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. I didn't do the whole baking because I couldn't be bothered to do that. So I just lightly set it that, but I actually forgot. I think it just forgot to film. Um, but the blush that I'm using, I'm actually using two. The first one is the Illamasqua blush in the shade Excite. And then I'm using the NARS Taj Mahal blush, which is like an orangey, well it is an orange blush with like a slight shimmer which gives like the perfect glow for summer. And so to highlight, I'm actually using the highlight that's in the sleek contour palette and I just use an e.l.f. Um, small tapered brush just to highlight my cheekbones and to give me that gorgeous summer glow. So lastly onto lips, I'm just lining my lips with the Milani Lip Pencil in the shade Dark Coffee and then I'm using the Sleek Matte Me Lip Cream in the shade Rioja Red which is like a gorgeous bright kind of orangey red shade. I absolutely love it, it dries matte which is what I prefer to use um, and you can obviously use whatever shade you like but I absolutely love this colour and that is pretty much the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you all so much for watching and subscribing I really do appreciate it and I all I all oh my god I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video bye